No bubbles. Oh. Why? Okay. We have the instruction manual. And here it is. Oh, all metal. Take a look at this beauty. And take a look at this beauty. It's art. It's compact. It's all metal with that big knob for volume and power on. All right. Big knob for volume up and down. Also, it have a switch for powering the Bluetooth or the device. At front, we have the infrared receiver, USB audio, AUX connector, and on off. That means that this thing is for mute or for Bluetooth on and off. And this is the main switch. And from behind, we have these four beautiful gold connectors for connecting the right and left speaker. In the middle we have the DC input jack. It says 9 to 24 volts. Here I have a laptop adapter that gives 19 volts and can deliver 6 amperes. And the DC jack goes right in the middle like this okay let's turn on we have a blue LED light did you hear that let's connect to the smartphone too many Bluetooth devices and here it is Hin Yi pairing Okay, connected. The remote control and the AUX cable. Because of the copyright, I need to use free music that is from YouTube library. And let's play. Mute, yes, the remote control is working. Please, in the comments below, tell me about the sound. I want to hear from you how it sounds, how you can hear it. This is the maximum. Because he's mini amplifier it looks super cool i love it with that big volume knob now i'm gonna try some mp3 songs they are very simple but i need to try does it work the usb okay we will wait oh yes change it next and my favorite. Okay. Plug in, play. And it's working fine. What I love about this mini amplifier? I love it because of the size. I love these gold connectors for the speakers, the big knob, everything. And it's looking nice on the, on the table. The link will be in the description below so you can check it. There will be two links. One will be for 100 watts two times by 100 watts and two times by 50 watts just like mine. Uh, no bubbles. 
again. Oh, yes. Inside. Come on. Be gentle. Beautiful. E paper or E ink. And this one is with 296 by 128 pixels resolution. Okay, I have already uploaded the code to the Arduino module, which is ESP8266 Wi Fi module. That flashing black and white is just the refresh rate. Take a look at the graphics. Black and wow! Love it! Beautiful. You can use it like a paint because it's black and white and you can draw images on the screen e-paper that's why it's called this one is good display a lot of farm projects using this screen I love it because it's consumed of low energy nice there is no power there is no battery but the screen is on and it will stay on do you know how it works this EP paper display update and take a look by the way that is my coffee page where you can buy me one coffee and to support me and to support the electronics to support what we love and yes we love the electronics um, come on. Okay, did you see why is so special this display? And I love it. I will make a lot of code projects for this display. Bubbles! Finally, bubbles. Oh, ooh. Okay. Wireless audio adapter, transmitter and the receiver. Gadget, it's new for me. Okay. Ooh. Nice. How to... Oh. From this side we have USB-A connector. On bottom we have AUX cable connector at front as i said we have the lc screen one play pause button with pickup call previous and next on the side we have a switch for choosing transmitting or receiving and on the side we can plug in the micro us micro sd card Everything that I told you, it have the USB, LED display screen, TF card slot, up and down song, songs key, aux, jack, multifunctional button, pairing. Come on. Okay. And I'm gonna test this device to my very old GVC boombox. We're going to the next. Previous pause, but I'm using them because of the copyright strikes. Take a look how quickly. Alright, the Bluetooth adapter with the uh, MP3 player produce sound that is given by the 3.5 mm output jack with the cable we are going to the RCA audio input of this very old boombox homemade adjustable power supply with a box made out of junk 
and using this module that I got from AliExpress and which is adjustable power supply unit that can handle 60 volts and 8 amperes combine it to, with the power supply unit that give 48 volts and can handle I think maximum 8 amperes and both both modules will be placed inside a box that I made it out of junk okay so here it is the final result a beautiful made box that everything fits okay turning on voila this is the main kill switch and this is the on off switch just for the module and this is for killing all of them turning on again first I'm gonna set the the voltage by pressing the VSET and here you can see I'm adjusting the voltage to 1.12 no, volts sorry and the amperes I will set to <coughs> let's say to 2.5 amperes and everything is set the amperes and the voltage and when you hit the on button take a look what happens now the light bulb is on <coughs> but the voltage is 3.3 volts because we, we have constant current and also the indication is turned it on but let's go that to how much 5 amperes yes and what is this OCP that is my set over current protection you can change that go look 200 watts I don't want to go more because <laughs> this is uh, my homemade supply and it's the maximum is 300 watts I will go to 200 for, for and take a look over voltage protection and the resistor is giving a smoke I got it oh, no bubbles why this product is fragile Ooh. okay it comes with plastic case okay nice box What it says in description? It says that the chip inside is ESP32 C3, operating voltage 5 volts, power consumption 100 milliampers. milliampers. The size of the screen is 1.28 inch TFT, driver chip GC9A01, resolution 240 by 240 pixels. We we will area 32 millimeters okay operating temperature storage temperature size 38 by 37 millimeters okay by the way this thing doesn't have built-in battery so on the side we have only the type c connector for powering this device and from behind we have one connector I don't know for what is it and two push buttons okay this way what take a look at the screen amazing color screen it's a TFT and here we have a, a graphics example of graphics for a smartwatch and take a look how it looks inside here it is the the 
print the circle board with the ESP chip. Wow, it's looking nice. Oh, what applications. Also, you can choose different models with without touch model, capacitive touch model without case, with case. Okay. Oh, take a look how smooth is that. Beautiful. These are just examples that are programmed into the chip. And this is the clock. The weather. No more on this side. Let's go back. Okay. Up. You can listen to music. This can be like a Bluetooth controller. Let's play. Yes. All right. The volume, you can also control the volume. Beautiful. Oh, back to the watch. It's a game. And take a look. You can touch it and you can play it. Game over. I made a very simple avoiding game avoiding obstacles game but every time you avoid obstacle it's getting faster score 7 score 8 take a look oh game over board go take a look this is ESP32 C3 board beautiful you can make a lot of farm projects using this module. I love it. Okay, okay. I figure out. This connector on the side is for programming. Uh, it has four pins, ground, 3.3 volts, transmitter and receiver pinout. The two buttons are reset and boot. On this small connector with two pins, you can connect external uh, battery, 3.7 volts, lithium battery and on the side we have programmable button beautiful just to mention this is just the basic review of this ESP with round TFT screen 1.28 inch in my next video I will show you new codes that I will show you and I'm gonna program to the ESP chip and see what we can do with this beautiful module and if you want to suggest something what to do please comment in in the comment section